Another type of knot that's very often used in the entertainment business is the choke. And a choke is a, uh, a knot or connection that you make when you want to uh, attach uh, your uh, tying material, your line, to something. It's usually going to be something that's round that you get a really good grip on so that when the, all right, so when the line is applied, it's going to choke onto it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to grab it. It's going to choke it really tightly like that. Usually that is something round. It's, it's a little bit more difficult to uh, choke and get that even gripping power on something that's square or an angle iron or something like that. It's usually much easier to do that on something that's round. What I'm holding here is uh, called a span set, and that's a trade name for um, a uh, device uh, generically known as a sling, and they're all different kinds of slings, but the span set sort is an endless, and if I back up, you can see this, sort of an endless band. It's like a rubber band. Of course, it's not, it's not made out of rubber. It's actually made out of uh, uh, synthetic materials that are sewn together, and it makes uh, something that's very, very strong. If I look at the label of this particular span set, I can see that when used as a choke, it says that it's rated at 4,200 pounds. Well, that's actually quite a bit, because if we were using this with, say, a one-ton motor, to do some kind of theater rigging where we wanted to pull up a lighting truss or something. Uh, a one-ton motor uh, will only lift uh, 2,000 pounds, and this is rated at, at uh, 4,200, so that's just an awful lot more. So uh, slings are very, very, uh, span sets slings are very uh, strong devices that you can use to connect different things together uh, by use of a choke. In arena rigging, uh, the basic unit of construction, if you will, is to use uh, a truss, like this aluminum box truss right here, in order to uh, connect, the, you, what you do is you connect the scenery to the truss and then you connect uh, the truss to a motor that pulls everything up. So uh, how do we choke our span set onto this truss in order to uh, make a good connection? Well, you always want to choke to the bottom first and then choke to the top. So what I'm taking is I'm doing is I'm taking the span set and I'm going to feed it through itself. I'm going to go ahead and pull the rest of the span set through. All right. So that now I've got everything choked on there. It's on there tight uh, and it's going to stay in one spot. Of course, this would anyway because it's in between these uh, these uh, horizons, these uh, diagonals. But then I'm going to take the span set, and I'm going to choke it around again, so I've gone around this uh, top member as well as the bottom member. So what that does is that it's going to more evenly distribute the load, and also it means that we're picking up uh, our unit from the bottom, and which is uh, the manufacturer suggests is a much uh, more stable way to uh, hold the load and that, uh, that it, it uh, equalizes the load more uh, effectively throughout the truss rather than having it just be in one spot. So you want to make sure that you've gone around both of those things. And uh, then if I were really going to hang this, I would take a second span set and I would put it on the back side of this, do the same thing, and then take both of my span sets together and put them in the hook of the motor that's going to pull it up. 